Let us remember we are in the holy presence of God. For our Muslim friends, neighbors, classmates, and colleagues, today is the second day of the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. People are sometimes surprised to learn that Jews, Christians, and Muslims all worship the same God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia happens once a year. For those of us who do not practice Islam, it might be easy to assume that this pilgrimage to Mecca is all about the Prophet Muhammad, but it isn't. Jews and Christians were making this same pilgrimage centuries before Muhammad was even born. The reason? This pilgrimage is actually all about Abraham. As you know, Abraham had two sons. The oldest was his son Ishmael, his mother a concubine named Hagar. The younger was his son named Isaac, his mother, Abraham's wife Sarah. When Isaac was born, Abraham sent Hagar and Ishmael into exile to what is now Saudi Arabia. When Jews and Christians and now Muslims go there on pilgrimage, they are remembering those stories about Hagar and Ishmael and are retracing their footsteps. And that large stone cube in Mecca, in Arabic, the Kaaba, Muslims believe that Abraham was ordered by God to sacrifice not Isaac, but Ishmael, right there on that spot. And when the angel of the Lord prevented him, Abraham sacrificed a ram instead. That's why at the end of the six-day Hajj, Muslims there in Mecca will purchase thousands and thousands of goats and sheep and have them slaughtered. The meat from those sacrificed animals will be frozen, donated, and shipped to hungry people around the world. While on Hajj, all pilgrims wear simple white clothing that is supposed to remind them of the shroud in which they will one day be buried. So it is impossible to tell who is rich and powerful and who is poor and downtrodden. All are equal before God. Yesterday, on the first day of the Hajj, the pilgrims gathered and prayed at the Kaaba. Today, in the second day, they traveled to Arafat, the place where Muhammad preached his final sermon. During the entire day, from dawn until sunset, pilgrims stand in sincere supplication and devotion, praying for God's forgiveness. Tears are often shed as those who gather there repent and seek God's mercy, reciting prayers, all gathered together as equal before God. Muslims around the world who are not participating in the pilgrimage often spend this day in fasting and devotion. So let us pray today for our Muslim friends, relatives, and acquaintances. And let us pray for all Jews, Christians, and Muslims that we may all come to understand and learn to faithfully practice the peace that our respective religions teach and promote. And let us pray for all people of goodwill everywhere. O Lord, send us your perfect and everlasting peace. Send us your peace so that we may be instruments of your peace to all we meet. Send us your peace so that we may be contented with and thankful for all the gifts you give us. Lord, send us your peace so that we might strive to end all hate, all discrimination, and all violence. Send us your peace so that we may find peace of mind in a world torn by conflict and strife. And Lord, send us your peace so that all of your children here on earth might do your will by uniting into the one family you created us to be. St. John Baptist de La Salle, live Jesus in our hearts.